There are only two big mistakes that you can do as a developer. First, not starting to build and sell your apps and relying on your mind job and salary only. And second, starting to develop indie applications but building apps that no one needs. In this video, I will show you how to validate your app ideas, what tools do I use for research, and what are three questions you must ask yourself before starting app development. I got a motorcycle license and started to ride a rented bikes this summer. So I thought that would be cool to make an app that can earn an extra 50k to buy a motorcycle. So I started to look for app ideas and ideally they could be in the motorcycle niche. 15k is a big goal, but I should get it to 1k MRR first and then it is possible to scale it. I decided that I would like to have an app where I could track all the expenses and maintenance needed and already done on motorcycle. So I sketched a user interface and started to research competitors. So here are the tools that I'm using for that and I will show you how I'm doing that. I sketched my app user interface in free form and any tool, pen and paper could work as well, but I just like how screenshots and my sketches in one place. So idea was that basically I have a photo of the current motorcycle because I'm riding multiple motorcycles and renting them. I would like to keep here expenses like fuel consumption, maintenance, rent expenses and so on here. And there could be some upcoming maintenance. For example, if I need to do the chain maintenance or change the oil because I plan it to rent motorcycle for a week and ride it to the Tatras or Alps. Yeah, and basically a yeah, home button, quick entry for fuel and mine settings button here. So that's basically was my raw app idea. And I did, of course, a research in the App Store and I found a few similar motorcycle kind of maintenance applications. So what should you do when you, when you do that? You find your competitors, you see what they offer. And most importantly, yeah, sure, you are looking on user interface for, for inspiration. But also very important, you have to go and read reviews. And I'm using the app for that. There is an application named readreviews.dev. You can use it for free. There is paid version as well. I have paid version. And yeah, basically you can see all the reviews for those applications in one place. I just added all the motorcycle apps here. And I was looking for reviews. Also, there is built-in analytic uh, functionality here. You can get... AI built kind of suggestions, what you could do, what kind of bug reports are most often seen and what kind of features users are asking for. So with all this data, I already see that, yeah, my app idea kind of makes sense. And uh, yeah, next question is, can I build it? Sure, I can. I even kind of jump it one step too far and made a quick prototype for this application, but I just wanted to test uh, basically how to use Swift data for that. And yeah, then I started to do keyword research. Basically, that's the next step you would like to do. Sure, you can start with keyword research as well, but yeah. And here is my keyword research. I'm using Try Astro or Astro app for keyword research, and here are my keywords for the app. How do I do that? Basically, I'm just adding new app, you can add temporary application and in my case that was motorcycle let's rename it edit up name let's say motorcycle maintenance and then basically i'm adding keywords and i'm just writing in keywords what i what come in mind let's say motorcycle whatever logbook and so on moto log whatever so basically you are writing in keywords then application will fetch the keywords, will show applications that are in the App Store. And you can keep writing keywords that come in your mind. I basically did that. But even after first few keywords, you will already see. So here we have motorcycle maintenance. Those applications are kind of dominating this keyword. But most important thing that you can do here, you can extract all the competitor keywords and you can basically just go and kind of take what works for you. Let's say connect Yamaha unlikely, whatever. Maintenance, maintenance, log maintenance, log motorcycle, stuff like that. You're just adding keywords. 
Okay, you got the point. Basically, I have my keywords here already. As soon as I added all the keywords that come in mind, I sorted them by popularity to see what I would like to use for my app, app store search uh, optimization. That's long topic, do not stick on that. But basically, just let's see on what, what keywords are popular here. So the problem is that popular keywords here are one word keywords like motorbike, motorcycle, and yeah, this difficulty is quite high as well. So what that means? Popularity is from zero to hundred, and that means how often those words are, how often users are looking for those words, for those keywords in the app store, how often users are searching. And yeah, it seems that they are searching for motorcycle and for maintenance even. Little bit 24 is kind of okay-ish. But motorcycle logbook, motorcycle maintenance, those are close to zero interest. So almost no one kind of searching for them. And even this one, logbook, um, basically there are kind of hard to compete keywords even with so low popularity. Can you build application like that and earn money? Probably yes, because for example, I have my free diving application and it is based on kind of not popular keywords as well and that application making some money in the app store. So you can make application which will make, I don't know, 1k up to 5k in monthly revenue based on not very popular keywords. So, but this is already kind of big red flag, right? So I decided to go forward and go deeper in this research and ask it kind of real motorcycle riders, are they, are they using those applications? Because we have applications like that in the App Store, right? So here are, here are quite a few applications which are basically providing this functionality and looking from reviews and feedback, so they're is some amount of users who are using that. So I just posted question on on Twitter, on X, and I asked it basically, uh, if you are motorcycle rider, do you use apps like that? I made a pool and here are the results, basically two hours left from 20 hours, 24 hours of this pool. And yeah, most of the users are saying that no, they're not using applications. And I also got some comments. Bruno is building the application. So one more competitor, <laughs> uh, not, in, not released yet, but here is one app is coming. And basically comments are no, no, no. And I asked it also, some friends who are riding motorcycles and I asked it in the WhatsApp in the one of the motorcycle rider group here in Latvia. That group is quite big, about 2000 plus uh, users in uh, the adventure riding motorcycle niche and I got the answer that no one, actually no one kind of using applications like that. Uh, most of the users say that basically you see the fuel consumption and uh, maintenance periods on speedometer, on, 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 on computer of the motorcycle. One of the users said that he is making records on the wall of the garage. <laughs> so it seems that this is not most popular application in the App Store. So can you make money from that? I don't know. And yeah, here we have basically, I still can build this application for myself, right? And there is also a niche of the users. There are a few users who will use this application and you, and you can make some money from this application. But here are three very important questions to ask before you are jumping on the any application. And first one, most important one probably is, is this a vitamin or painkiller product? What that means? Basically, Painkiller apps solve the huge pain for the customer and users do not think twice when they have a chance to buy your product because that product solves real pain for them. And that's basically it's the same. If you have a headache and you can buy a pill to fix that, you do not ask, I don't know, <laughs> how much it will cost. If it is in decent range, you are just buying it, you know. Vitamin pro products are nice to have. You can still make money with it. There are also, vitamin industry is huge, but yeah, if you can choose between two different products, work on painkiller product because uh, vitamin products always are harder to sell and that will be first in the list to cancel subscription in case of any cost cutting. My app idea about this uh, 
motorcycle maintenance definitely is in the vitamin category and even so seems that very few users are using it. The next question is can you push this product to 1k MRR? Why 1k? So from all the apps in the app store only 17% of the applications are getting to the 1k in MRR and all of the rest are below that but those applications which are getting to this 1k MRR monthly recurring revenue they are getting to two and half and 5k as well so there is high chance to grow it I don't know to 10k in a month as well so those applications that we have what we have here in the app store I see that user interface is not so great I think I could make better application for those users who need application like that and I think I could make few hundred bucks in a month from this application 1k that's really hard already so and if you're already not sure that you can make 1k in a month unlikely you will push it forward to make more so better choose other product project if you have a chance the last but not least question are you passionate enough about this project to work on it for 6 to 12 months until you will make it profitable because unlikely you will get uh, revenue from this project on day one probably you will need to work at least for three months to see if this project have legs and then yeah six to twelve months to bring it to its potential if i am asking myself I'm not sure if motorcycle maintenance project is the one which I would like to work in the, in the winter, in the Latvian winter without riding motorcycle and so on. Currently, yes, I am very passionate about this topic, about motorcycles and everything, but uh, that's not really interesting. That's not really interesting application. Will it improve other kind of users' lives? Not significantly. I don't know. I already kind of, after this analytic, I do not feel that I would like to work on this application and so probably that this application is going from my motor maintenance journal probably is going from concept to drop it projects so next time before you are jumping on exciting <laughs> project ask those three questions uh, before you start working on them and do research. So this is the reason why you need more than one idea to build great and profitable app. And yeah, you need multiple to validate them and easily drop one which is not very promising. If you need help to how to find good app ideas, check out this video and you will learn how to come up with killer with app ideas in no time.